Hello guys, how is everyone? I hope everyone's doing really well. Thanks for joining me. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I would jump on and share a couple of little projects that I've done with you all. So this first one is a little bit different as you can see. It's the first time I've done anything like it. Um, my hubby is a guitarist. He came to me with a really cheap kind of guitar and wanted to modify this pick guard that you can see here just to make it look a little bit more interesting um, and also to challenge me creatively to do something out of my comfort zone. So it had been sitting with me for a couple of months actually. I hadn't done anything with it. I had some ideas floating around in my head but then never actually had the opportunity or the courage to attempt it. But one day I decided, no, it's time I get onto it and I'll just experiment and see how things go with it. So I had a couple of different ideas. Um, one of them was to be a spacey type theme. Um, one was to pop it on the jelly plate and have some really cool pattern come out. And another was a collage of old book pages or something like that I thought could look pretty cool. But I ended up trialing out the jelly plate first which was a complete failure because it's a shiny surface so not, none of the paint adhered properly to it. Yeah none of the paint adhered properly to it and all of the patterns came out blurry um, because this shiny part was just slipping around all over the plate so I couldn't get a clear impression. Um, next I tried direct stenciling onto the plate but once again it came out smudgy because it was just too much of a shiny surface so in the end I decided I would just get out my blue plate blue paints because I thought blue and white and cream could be a nice combination together and see what I came up with so I chose a few of my blue paints in my collection and I've also got my black one here um, and also white which I don't have here but um yeah so I basically mixed some of the blues together and just sponged it onto the black surface and then I also used some black and sponged that on as well um, there are some bubbles in the surface, I'm not sure, you can see some dots. I think that's where some of the paint had dried up. Some of the paints are a gouache, so it's a bit more watery than just your standard acrylic paint, which is why it had that effect. But I think it came out really nice, like you can see some parts of like electric blue type colour in it, and some of a darker blue, some of a lighter blue and overall it's quite smooth but there are some little bumps and then just to I waited until that dried and then I varnished it with this really old kind of varnish that I've had sitting around for ages called Aileen's Enhancers Gloss Varnish and I just did a couple of coats of that on top so hopefully um It'll restore the paint and won't come off. It seems to be okay so far. But yeah, that is the first project that I wanted to share with you, that little scratch plate. So yeah, overall I think it turned out quite well. Um, hopefully you can see it well in this lighting. And it was good to try something a little bit different. So thank you everybody. Bye.